this is Stampy, and welcome to another Let's Play on Minecraft Story Mode. Today, I'm going to be starting episode number eight, A Journey's End. And uh, sorry for being a little bit late with this. Uh, there was a, a glitch with it coming out on the Xbox One, which meant it came out uh, a couple days late. Uh, but yeah, here we are. If these builders truly existed, and if you found their temple, that means we're one step closer. That's not what I was expecting. See, this is what I'm talking about. We're stuck in a rut, go through a portal, avoid dying long enough to get back to this stupid hallway. Wash, rinse, repeat? Yes. It would be nice if whoever made these left some sort of signs, guideposts. You can call me Harper. Your bravery is an impressive quality. I look forward to studying that aspect of your personality once you have been made useful. We'll see about that. What is that? This is the Redstone Heart. Beautiful. It can help you find your way home. How is this going to do that? The answers you're seeking, the old builder's atlas, your way home, they're all right up those stairs. Right, so that was a, a bit of a, a summary of what happened in the last episode. It made it seem so simple, didn't it? <laughs> Find evil robot, pull out the heart, leave. <laughs> it was a little bit more complicated than that, let me assure you. Right then, top of the staircase. Wow. What are we going to find? That's a lot of stairs. <laughs> let me just write that down. A lot of stairs. Stone heart. Amazing. Yeah, not bad, right? Right then, so I guess now we've opened it, can we take this with us? Or is it going to close behind us? Right, looks like we can fit that in my pocket somehow and let's go, uh, let's go up. All right, time to go home. I thought I'd yes, be positive. <laughs> I, I like positive like Jesse. Close. Ah, feels like just yesterday we were building this place. Still don't agree with some of the aesthetic choices. Very odd to be back. Wait, you're from here? Uh-huh. What's the big deal? It's a big deal because we've been in the old builder's world this whole time and you didn't tell us. There was never a natural time to bring it up. Kind of thought I'd never need to come back to tell you the truth. Well, this is lovely. <laughs> oh, sensing a story here. I guess you could say that. What are you hiding from us now, Harper? Nothing. Nothing. Well, almost nothing. Just the others might not be 100% happy to see me. Others? You mean we're going to meet more old builders? Still don't like it when you call us that. Yep, but I gotta warn you, they're not as friendly as I am. I'm probably the, uh, nicest old builder. Uh-huh. Old builder social politics. My goodness. Hey, I'm just glad you're on our side. Old builder or not, you've been pretty cool. Well, thank you, Jesse. I hope I can keep living up to that. Well, you're gonna give us the Atlas and then we can go home, right? Kind of. The Atlas isn't exactly mine to give. It belongs to the other, uh, old builders. And, well, they might not want to give it up. Why do I get the feeling there's a lot you're not telling us? Good instincts? Harper, I thought that's why we brought you, to convince them to hand over the Atlas. You're not going to let us down, right? I'm going to do my best, but I warn you now that there could be complications. What kind of complications? You'll see when you get there. Jesse, come here. Are you sure we can trust Harper? Look at all of our interactions with her so far. They haven't exactly been great, remember? No, I think she's definitely hiding something. But if we're going to get home, we need her help. Agreed. Don't worry, okay? We're going to get that Atlas and get home. I'm sorry to hear you feel that way, Jesse. Sorry. I just couldn't resist a good eavesdrop. I promise you both, I am trying to help. Okay, just I didn't know she was going to be listening. I might not have said that otherwise. A, a door? Like a regular door? Time to step through and find out. Okay, well, whatever's going to happen, I guess I'm going to find out now. This place is cool, though. I mean, I wouldn't really want to stay here. 
might make a nice Minecraft challenge to live in this world, but let's go through the door and find out exactly what is going on with these old buildings, because this has been ridiculously mysterious. What? I see a thing. Before you go in there, I have one more piece of advice. Don't die! What? <laughs> Was that like another portal then? Is this just the way we enter their world? We've entered in the middle of a spleef tournament! Whoa, look at her in the background! She's enormous! <laughs> My, isn't that special? Whatever you do, don't stand still too long. Those big, beefy dudes up there, it seems like they're aiming for us. Hang on! I just realized what this reminds me of. Spleef! Is it in tight? No, it's a game. You try to knock the floor out from other people and make them fall. Ah! Be like okay, well, it looks like we're going to be starting off with a good old-fashioned game of spleef. And there is lava underneath. There does seem to be glass over the lava, though. So hopefully... <laughs> hopefully this is a friendly... What? Did I just... Oh. Wow. Okay. This, um... This isn't a friendly game of spleef, then. To be fair, everyone else is using shovels, and we are using swords. <laughs> Right, let's uh, let's just try and stay alive for as long as we can, just so we can find out what's going on here. The big reason I want to survive is just because I'm curious about what this world is that we've uh, ended up joining into. I don't know. It looks like we need to. Oh, are we gonna choose? Do we have to choose who we're gonna help out? Uh, I don't know. Let's. I'm gonna help Ivor because I think Petra is more likely to be able to handle herself. So that that's the reason I made that decision. I don't know if there's any logic to that, but. You know, Petra's, Petra's pretty good. You know, she can normally hand herself. Oh, there we go. Lucas saved. Oh, no. They both fell. Lucas and Petra. Oh, no. The crushers. <gasps> They've just been crushed. I think this isn't real. I, I, I don't think that anything bad actually happened to them. misunderstanding, dude. What are you doing? Hey, using weapons is against the rules. Rules? Not cool, dude. So not cool. I think that, like, this is, like, some sort of virtual reality thing, or they're actually not getting hurt. Not since the days of Tim have we seen such heated play. That's totally against the rules, right? Yeah. I didn't think we could throw TNT back at the gladiators. Nice one, bro. You are an incredibly horrible individual. You just killed our companion. Whoa. Okay, none of you are responding like you should be to what's going on, so are you all crazy? Mind-controlled? What? Whoa. Hang on, dude. I am not in charge here, okay? It's them. Yes, we are the ones in charge here. And we have never had to stop a match. Ever. It definitely is strange, Mavia. What is going on here? I want an explanation. Immediately. <laughs> I think we have just been introduced to the old builders. Pretty speedy considering how old they are. This is going to require some reconfiguring of the stats for sure. Okay, you're in charge. Awesome. Now can you just explain what the heck is going on here? What's going on here is you just ruined our round of spleef. Attacking competitors? Horrid! And technically against the rules. Ugh. Lashing out just because your friends were eliminated. Kind of sore loser behavior, don't you think, sport? It is part of the games. Oh, you can't be serious! <laughs> as serious as that beard of yours. Okay, just tell me straight. What are these games that you keep talking about? I think if we all just calm down, I can explain. Your friends aren't dead. Wait. What? I knew it! How? I knew when it! When people are eliminated in the games, they don't die. <laughs> that would be wasteful! <laughs> Obviously. They come back, and then we have them go work in the mines! Jesse! <clears throat> Your friends are alive and well. But I saw them die. How are they alive? Oh, <laughs> I'm not surprised that you're confused. Tiny brains. It's called respawning, champ. 
We're not monsters. <clears throat> in our games, when people die, they reappear in one of our respawn zones. I hear it's still pretty painful, though. Well, Sport, now that you've come and interrupted our games, I'm sure our fans would love to know how you got here. Spill! Oh, why bother? They all end up in the mines. We're from another world. Yeah? Well, you and everyone else here, Pipsqueak. You know what you are, champ? You're just a little gatecrasher. And what do we do with gatecrashers? Kill them and send them to the mines. Back off, muscles. Jesse's with me. Well, if it isn't Harper. I must say, this return is unexpected. You're telling me I'm here for Jesse. Oh, really? So tell me, champ, why do you think Harper brought you here? My bet's on Pet. That'd be pretty cute, right? Oh, adorable. We just want to get our friends and go home. Sorry, Chief, but this is your home now. Might as well get comfy. No way. We've been lost in your stupid portal hallway long enough. We're going home. Meaning you need my atlas. Very interesting. Well, that's all well and good, but I'm confused. Why would we give anything to someone like you? You weren't invited. And you interrupted Spleef. Because I have something you want. Oh? <laughs> you must be joking, Hadrian. Joking! Oh, jokes! Ha <laughs> ha! Hilarious! Nope, not joking. I doubt you'd have anything that would interest us. I didn't really think this through. What do I have? <laughs> um, the Eversource Crown, the Redstone Heart, White Pumpkin, Glow Flint and Steel. They must have one of them anyway. What about the, the Eversource Crown? That's pretty valuable. I present the Eversource Crown. Wait, why do I recognize that? Oh, that's the crown we put on the Eversource chickens so we'd be able to tell them apart from the regular chickens. Oh, that was a good party, huh? Sadly, not exactly valuable. Okay, interesting. wrong choice, wrong choice. Uh, the Redstone Heart, maybe? What about this? I present the Redstone Heart. They seem impressed. Oh. Seems like only yesterday someone took off with that and vowed never to return with it. Oh, but I didn't bring it back. Jesse did. Thing's no toy, slugger. How about you just hand it over, huh? It could be, uh, pretty dangerous if you don't know how to use it. Nuh-uh, Hadrian. You're not getting one finger on this thing until you hand over my friend. I'm not a big fan of haggling, Jesse. Here's the way my offer works. You give me the heart, you and your friends go back down to those portals, I never look at your insignificant face again. Uh, without the Atlas? But we need that to get home. So, not my problem. Clearly, things have been getting out of hand. Let's start over and see if we can reach an agreement. Okay. Okay, fine. I can always appreciate someone trying to be reasonable. Well, you need the Atlas. And I need competitors. After your unexpected intrusion, I seem to be short a team. So how about this? You play in the games... If you win, the Atlas is yours to keep. It's a good deal, Jesse. Trust me. Ah, uh, sure. Everyone I like games. <laughs> games. Can't wait to see what the other games are. I hope they're fun. Well, there you have it. A deal's been struck, huh? To the games. All right, then. I suppose we can carry forward with the official oh, edition. Enough. Add it on your own time. Oh, but there's one other thing I want. If they lose... Harper has to go to the mines, too. Oh, gravel. Harper, want to be a friend and show our new competitors to where they'll be staying? Sure thing. Okay, well, at least Harper's definitely going to help us out. I wonder what the other games are. I reckon we're going to have some survival games. Wolves might be a fun one. Jesse, this was not part of the plan. Wrapped up in one of Hadrian's deals. Ugh, he's not one to let other people get the upper hand, you know. Wait, but this was your plan. You said you had it all worked out. Yeah, about that. I didn't think you'd willingly come here. I might have acted in haste before uh, I could work out all the details. Making it up as you go, huh? 
bold. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I really am. Let me show you where the competitor village is. This really is reminding me of the Olympics. <laughs> I don't know if that's what it's based on or not. It reminds me of the mixture between the Olympics and a Minecraft server. This is cool though. This is quite a cool setup. So I guess they're the, the villains of the episode. We need to get that atlas. But first we need to survive their games. And judging by Spleef, they might be dangerous games. Travel here to play in the games. At least until the others ruined it. What happened? Hadrian and Mevia let power go to their heads. They started pitting people against each other, just for sport. Forcing people to be here. It isn't right. Come on, I'll show you where you'll be staying. Polar bears! <laughs> well, here it is. The competitor village. Sort of a home away from home for all the people playing the games. They're all in the games. Yep. At least the ones who aren't stuck working in the quartz mines. Those poor souls are just waiting for their next shot. Mining is tough work. I feel bad for the people that are too scared or weak to play in the games. Wow, that's just horrible. I know. Shovel Planet. <laughs> it's like Disney World. Welcome to Shovel Planet. Welcome to Mine Planet. Welcome to Bread Planet. <laughs> they didn't make a deal like you did, Jesse. They're stuck here till they win the games. And if they lose? Hadrian sends them to toil in the mines. If they're lucky, they'll get another shot at the games. But it might take a while. I'm going to go confer with Otto. We go way back and, well, he's usually the most reasonable of the three. Hold on a moment. We still haven't found Petra or Lucas. <sighs> I'm thinking that Hadrian must have sent them through the portal to the mines. Which is technically against the rules. No one's supposed to go there until their whole team is eliminated. Well, then we're just going to have to get them out. See what you can do here. I'm going to try and find Otto. I've got confidence in you, Jesse. You might just get out of this. got to get our friends out of the mines quick. I'll see if any of these other competitors have any promising leads. Okay, right, here we go. This seems to be where we're going to be hanging out for the, uh, yeah, for a decent part of the episode anyway. So, current objectives. We need to learn what the games are, and I think we need to train, because we're not going to get home unless we win, and we don't even know what we're doing yet. <laughs> it looks like one of the, the competitions is jumping over wooden blocks, judging by that person there. And yeah, we also need to, to try and get um, Petra and Lucas from the, the mine as well. As it looks like it didn't really matter too much about the fact that I picked Ivor. It just means that he's the one hanging out with me, and to be honest, he's probably my favourite character, so I am <laughs> uh, totally fine with that. So yeah, this is an interesting setup for the, uh, the, the final episode uh, of kind of this season, I guess, of Story Mode. Uh, but yeah, there'll be a link down in the uh, description uh, to the, the next episode where we're going to carry on right from uh, where we left off. Uh, but for now, thank you so much for, for choosing to, to watch this. Uh, I know that because it was late. You might have watched other people's or played it yourself. So yeah, the fact that you either waited for me or watching me as well. Uh, yeah, I really appreciate that. So hopefully uh, we're going to have a lot of fun uh, playing through the, the rest of this episode. But for now, and I thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all uh, later. Bye!